Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. Cindy has the night off. It was a bittersweet night at the Dade County High School. The night was about celebrating the graduating class of 2017, but also about paying tribute to a beloved educator. Our Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Kate Smith explains. Well, it was standing room only inside Dade County High School, with the exception of one empty chair. Everyone knows that she was there and she was a part of everything that we are. But before walking across the stage, a touching tribute to a lady who helped get them there. She really genuinely cared about what we were soaking in and all the knowledge that we were getting. And it was just, she was just the sweetest woman. Sandy Bradley was the graduation coach. She helped increase the school's graduation rate from 71% to 95%. Three days before graduation, she lost her battle to cancer. In memory of Miss Bradley, every one of us are going to put a, a white flower into the vase in honor for her. So I'm really, really, I'm really glad that we're uh, doing that in memory of her. Three seniors won a scholarship in memory of Mrs. Bradley, a humbling moment for Taylor Cox. It was a very special moment. I kind of teared up because it was just like, wow, because Sandy Bradley was an amazing woman. Mrs. Bradley became very ill quickly, but it didn't stop her from continuing to help students. She stayed in touch over the phone and online. She always did the most to make sure her students were happy and that they were graduating and all on the track that they needed to be. Days before her passing, she gave her final lesson. I think she said it best when she, uh, put it in her Facebook post that she didn't just like dream of things that she did it. And I hope that people see her as a doer and that she accomplished all those things. And I hope people also see her as somebody who just who cared about this class and this school system. A lesson the class of 2017 will cherish forever. Joy and pride in everything you do and not to hold anything back. Students and staff weren't able to attend her viewing this evening due to graduation, but they tell me nothing will stop them from going to her funeral tomorrow morning. Live in the studio, Kate Smith, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.